Did you know that it's only been since August of 2023 that scientists have been testing menstrual products with blood? And here I am wondering what's wrong with me? Why can't I seem to bleed on a pad properly? The chronic stigma when it comes to menstruation, specifically menstrual blood, is a symptom of a much deeper problem when it comes to gynecological research or lack thereof. And this contributes to making it harder to diagnose and treat conditions like endometriosis, fibroids, polycystic ovary syndrome, and infertility. Doctors often rely on menstrual products as a diagnostic tool to measure heavy menstrual bleeding which can be a symptom of conditions like endometriosis, a clinician may ask how many pads or tampons a person uses within a given time period. Without reliable testing or standards for menstrual products, like testing with real people or real blood, this can have a real impact on patient care. Without a reliable measure of how much blood these products hold, doctors won't have an accurate idea of how much blood their patients are actually losing. As a result, there may be an issue with underdiagnosing heavy menstrual bleeding. And this is of particular concern for patients who need testing for an underlying condition or who are at risk of problems like anemia. For the average person, the lack of standards around menstrual products means it's hard to figure out if their bleeding warrants medical attention. Considering half the world have an organ which bleeds every month for 40 years, you'd think science would have caught up by now.